another at home project. We're just going to make ourselves some simple flash cards for all the letters. Um, I also have in the back here going to make the digraphs, the five digraphs we're working on too. So what are you going to need? You're going to need uh, some thicker paper, okay, something to hold it more sturdy. So what's my favorite thing to eat? Pizza. Well, I already used a uh, pizza box, but my son loves mac and cheese, so we could definitely open this up and get some cards out of this. My other son enjoys his popcorn. He loves watching movies and doing that. We went out um, and uh, helped one of our local businesses. We got donuts. I saved the box, and we could definitely use a lot of that space. And then my wife right now is stuck in the house just like all of us. She's uh, reorganizing and she found some old file folders that we don't need anymore. So that's what I actually used. Um, then we're going to need a, a ruler or a straight edge. I like my ruler. Some scissors, pencil, an eraser, and then something to make them with. Nice and colorful. Either your colored pencils, some markers, or hey Carter, I saw you had a 36 pack. I found a 64 at home. Uh, some crayons. So let's make them. So it's time to make some flashcards. I've thought about it. This is the size I made for myself, but you guys don't need quite as big. Remember, Mr. McConnell's hands are a lot bigger. So we're gonna make yours these two inch squares or about two inches. So it's about three fingers for me. It's gonna be probably about four fingers for you guys. Okay, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we're gonna do. So I've got the mac and cheese box here. I'm just gonna open it up. Looking at the side where it's glued. Pull that apart. So I have my ruler here and I know how, where I need to cut and everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and measure out. And so I'm gonna use here, I'm gonna go two inches. Two plus two is four, so I can go to four inches for another one. Go over here and I'm gonna do two inches. Two plus two is four, so four inches. Then I draw my line straight across. You guys, please, again, if someone's willing to help you get, you, get it done, get help. It's okay to get help, okay? So I'm gonna draw those lines across there. You're gonna use a straight edge. If you got a ruler, that's really easy, okay? Then you need to cut them out. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna cut right on those lines, okay? Got another one here, cut this one out. Okay, and then cut along there. So now we're gonna have some rectangles to use, but we need to get those two inches. So I'm just gonna get rid of this part here that I don't need. Get rid of this part on this one I don't need. And I'm actually only going to do, I'm going to take this because I know it's two inches and I'm going to put it across this one and I'm going to draw my line. That's going to give me a square. Okay. Then I'll line that up with that line on this side of this one again. Draw another line. Do it one more time, draw a line, cut it out on those lines, and I'll have my two inch squares. Okay, you're going to need 31 of these. Okay, if you have some index cards at home, those are really cool to have, but you're going to need 31, so I'm going to keep on working here, do it real quick. Hey, I just lined it up. I'm holding it in place. And I'm cutting on the other side. Do these have to be perfect squares? No. But you don't want to waste any of it either. So you want to do a good job, okay? Take your time. But just line it up, cut it off. So I've got some there. You need 31 of them because we're going to make the 26 letters of the alphabet plus the five digraphs we've been working on. 
Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to start off with your five vowels. A, E, I, O, and U. Five vowels. I want you to do all of these in lowercase. So I've got my A. After A is E. Really, you're going to be using these over and over again, so write them neatly. I, O, and U. Then you're going to switch to another color. I'm using green for the consonants. Okay, those are going to be B, C. It's all the other letters besides A, E, I, O, and U. Then after you get all your consonants finished, switch out to one more color and I want you to do the five digraphs. Like S-H, SH, or C-H, CH, P-H, T-H, and W-H, Okay, so you're gonna work through those. I'm gonna put up a list here, nice colored list for you to see all the different cards you gotta make. So we've got 31 of these cards to make. I'll see you guys back and we'll play a game right now. Maybe we'll play three games. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna show you a couple of games to play with the alphabet cards. There's many more. I want you guys making these too because we're gonna be using them in our Zoom meetings. So my boys are gonna play the first game. It's a beginning sound game. They're gonna flip over a card. They're gonna say what the sound is and then they have five seconds to say a word that begins with that sound. If the, if the other, if they don't get it done, the person who was counting gets to keep the card. Let's watch them play. Here we go. F. Um. Um, farm. Um, fish. Um. Frog, uh, flower, um, Friday, um, February, um, uh, I can't think of one. Okay, Ty, your turn. Flip one over. I, I, um, ice, um, Igloo. Idea. Um, insect. Um, injury. Um, interrupt. Um, uh, okay, Sage, so your turn again. Okay, <clears throat> CH. Sh. Um, China, uh, children, um, chocolate, uh, chili, um, uh, I can't think of one. So keep playing, maybe choose 10 cards to start, try the whole deck, but have fun with that one, okay? The next game the kids are gonna play is actually a little scavenger hunt, okay? So they're gonna flip over maybe 10 cards. T says T. S says S. E says E or E. A says A or A. Q says Qua. P says P. N says N. Mm. K says K. G says G. And D says D. So about 10 cards, and we're going to play a, have a scavenger hunt. They've got to go around the house, work together, work as individuals and they have to find things that begin with these sounds, okay? So, 
We've got two examples. That's all we're given. We're not going to give you any more than that, okay? So that you can see um, what it's like. So, Ty, what did you find? Uh, scissors. And where would the scissors go? On the S. Yep. So go ahead and put it on the S. And Sage, what did you find? A pencil. Where does that go? On the P. Yeah. So then they're going to have to keep looking around to fill out the rest of the cards. Okay? So a fun idea is a scavenger hunt. Okay. Last one that they're going to do is going to be a sound swap game. So I'm going to put out some sounds here. H says, <sighs> M says, mmm. J says, J. U says, uh, or you. S says, shh. And WH says, wah. So I'm going to say a sound. Both of them can have their hands at the ready. And they're going to slap the letter that says the sound. If they both slap it, whoever's hands on the bottom wins. You ready? Matt. Come on, Ty, I was right in front of you. Okay, good, hands up, reset. You don't take the cards. Okay, shower. Ah, uh, we're gonna give that one to Ty. Uh, that was pretty close there. Umbrella. Good job, Sage. And... I'm reminding you. Alexa, stop. And unicorn. Okay. Good job, you guys. Uh, Ty's going to head to a meeting. That's what his reminder was for. So, bye, Ty. Thanks for playing. But have some fun. So, all we made were some simple flashcards. But we made them with the vowels being in one color, the consonants, all the rest of the letters, in a different color, the digraphs in a third color. I gave you guys a list to make them. Um, we played a couple of games. Also, kids in my class. We're going to start meeting on Zoom, and I want to use these cards um, in a little while with them. So I need you to get these made if you don't already have some flashcards. Okay, bye.